What's up everyone, how's it going? I have a brand new deep run series coming your way. It is the Big 162. I final tabled this tournament, it was a lot of fun. I'm not gonna spoil it for you, but uh, it's an interesting tournament to watch. So, uh, without further ado, here's part one of the Big 162. And we're down to 32, so we're guaranteed $468. Uh, we're in 27th spot though, you know, we lost sort of a biggish spot, so um, Not in a super powerful position Downswing must be real for you to grind seven dollars spins from Rubang Pogo. Uh, we're up swinging, man. We're doing fine. Trust me. Um, but we got a dono for an eighty-five fifteen on the seven dollars spin. I'm like, of course, of course, I'm in for that. I'm gonna fold. And King Five, we're gonna fold. We are still in the 162, yep, we are. Rough day, it's a fine day. I mean, a mediocre day at this point. Uh, we've cashed for like, I don't know, 550, and our buy-ins are... No, we've cashed for a little bit more than that. We've cashed for like 600, and our buy-ins are like 1300, maybe. So it's really not too bad, you know? It's a pretty standard day. But of course, we could just win this tournament, right? If we double up twice, and we make the final table, then we could win a couple thousand. So, don't you worry. Plus, I forgot, we've made 30, 50, or, you know, 45, $50 in cash games because we're running like a champ, so, uh, yeah. Uh, GG to everyone here. Good game, guys, for me. And Queen 7 suited, we're going to fold. While we're waiting for that, we have East King suited here. The ante table, we get a call from Greedy Joe, who we have some uh, history with. <laughs> Uh, yeah, man. Easy, Squirtle. Easy, buddy. All right, Guntide. What are your thoughts, buddy? I haven't seen you in the chat yet. Guntide... I owe you 420. Yeah, I don't I don't see you posting yet. Time to buy art. Uh, 51 cents here. And we'll fold the school. And let's go to E5 suit. We're just going to fold. And where's... I'm tied. I don't see it. Just let me know some way, man. Because I know, uh, I know I owe you 420, Gun I got it in my records over here, so just let me know at some point, man. I'm not going anywhere.
Please suggest some MTT poker books to read. I don't know any. I've always been about training sites, so I don't know what is good and current and up-to-date, um, to be honest. I do know that if you're looking for mental game stuff, I'm, I've started working with Elliot Rowe down below, and he has some really good mental game um, like audio things for breaks and for like pre-session and for final tables that put you in a good frame of mind. So that may help you out, and you can check those out with a link down below, um, below the stream. But other than that, um, I don't really know for poker books currently. Jack-10 suited. We're going to raise it up. Oh, whoa. Make it 40 cents under the gun. If you made 200k a year at a job, would you quit poker? No. No. Nope, nope, nope. Definitely not. And let's see bet here, 70 cents on these ace, ace, eight. And just turn the nine of diamonds. How about that? Okay, folds. Guess what we have? Ace, jack, Dotty. We're down to 28. Here we go. We call. Against the A7, do we hold for 29,000? That's a good start. No five or spade or seven. Let's go. We'll call it 30K. We'll round. We're back in this thing, you guys. 16 of 28. Guaranteed $468. But we're almost down to the final three tables. Oh, 20, Donnie. Thanks for hanging out, man. Got to change the title to uh, Deep in the big 162. Here we go. Hello, my background. Ship it, vamos. See an open to 3,700 here. And... Uh, This is pretty close. <laughs> I think I have to shove, you guys, uh, which I know people probably don't like, but I've been doing, I've been looking at these spots, and if our opponent's stealing 40% and calling off like 15%, we just need to shove 5 8 suited here. So we're all in. <laughs> it looks crazy. You're not going to hear Phil help me tell you to do this, but uh, I literally have just started looking at this stuff, and it's a pretty clear shove. So. Here we go. I'm nervous about Twitch chat. Don't get called and lose. All right, we have 37%. Just get called and win. That's a good start. That's a good turn. All right, 62K. The absolute dream. We are now seven of 28. Seven of 28. Um, so the question is probably gonna be why shove? Uh, why did I shove? And it's because if you look at most people, like 40% is too tight to open. So we'll start there, right? Let's say they're opening 50% of hands, okay? They open 50% of hands on the button, which is totally reasonable. Almost everyone does that, uh, especially with our stacks. And then if we go all in, they're only calling hands like, say, fives plus and like a seven suited plus and king queen and, and king jack suited. Well, they're not calling enough hands, right? Around 70% of the time, they're just going to fold, or 65% of the time. And we're going to pick up one, two, three, four big blinds. Four and a half big blinds we're going to pick up when they fold. And when they call the other 30% of the time, we on average have like 30%, right? So if you run both of those situations over a million times against regulars that are opening a lot of hands on the button and they're not adjusting to call an even wider range, you need to be shoving a lot of hands, including the 5-8 suited. Um, so it's sort of specific. I would never recommend to do it in a $5 tournament, but that was a regular on the button. They're definitely opening enough hands and, mm -hmm. you know, sort of go from there. A6 suited here, we're going to open, uh, to 3,500. Be forced to call Munchen, although it would suck, I think. I mean, we'll take a look at the math when it comes in, if it does. What's up, guys? What's up? What's up? Holds around to Mr. Batar, very good player. 
Durden, friend of the stream, but also a very good player. I'm a Luxac, a very good player. I mean, it's a tough table, but I mean, we're down to the final three tables in the big one, 62. That sort of makes sense, right? We get a defend in the big blind from Durden. We see an 884 flop. Raise seabed is quite low. Fold the seabed is 49%, which is reasonable, so we're going to bet small uh, mm -hmm. and expect it to work often enough. Size and James with the sub hype. Welcome to Staple Stable, Size and James. Thank you so much for the support of the channel. Welcome to the team. Hearts out in chat. Welcome, Size and. And we're going to fold the jack eight here. Seven of 27. There we go. It's updated now. Seven of 27. So we're going to pretty use the spot to. Uh, the final table this thing. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. I don't know if chat's gonna <laughs> like these these plays. They worked though. Do you know Dario Minieri? What do you think about him? I don't know him personally. I've seen him play a little bit on TV. He seems really entertaining. Don't know anything more than that, though. So this is the only one that saw the seven. Oh, we got some hearts out there. We got some. Thank you, though, Rene Sands, for uh, getting the, the love out in chat. I only had $5 left on my PokerStars account, so I went to the roulette for an hour and turned it into a fourteen fifty. Holy crap. That is a sick run, chicken. Uh, congrats, yeah. <laughs> the 5-8 feels so weird which is why I think regs don't do it is because they because it's just like so outlandish compared to what is considered normal but I think yeah, yeah. I just know for a fact we have to shove there make 800k a year at a job would you quit poker uh, I don't think so I mean it depends right like there's there's secondary jobs that would still be fun and enjoyable for me, but poker is my dream, you know? <laughs> poker stars will be mad you have ACR on your computer. It's just from back in the day. I used to have like an affiliate thing with them when I used to stream 15 months ago or whatever. So sometimes like people that I referred way back in the day um, are you know, clear their thing and then I get paid a hundred bucks and I have to withdraw it or whatever. That's all. <laughs> all right, so we open I'm at calls. Raise C bet is extremely high. And I'm gonna check back. Cause they're good. And they're gonna put us in a lot of difficult spots and we're not afraid of too many turns. It's actually not one of the better ones, but it's still fine. And we see a bet of 6k from Amaluxac, which we will call. And sort of decide on different rivers. The four is a total brick. Are they going to continue bluffing on that four is the question. The sick question. <laughs> because, like, they really shouldn't expect us to fold here ever, right? Uh, we're probably going to fold. I understand we check back with Ashak, and then all the draws missed, but mm -hmm. I think that Amaluxac... Doesn't expect us to be able to fold ace jack or ace queen or ace king here. They expect us to call always. Um, and so we're probably going to fold because, I mean, uh, we can't fold, can we? <laughs> I don't think we can fold. They can't have ace king. So, I mean, we lose to ace eight, ace seven, six, five, uh, a four, but a four probably doesn't bet. I don't think we can fold. Yeah. God, it's such a six spot. Like, I know I would just snap there normally, and he thinks I would snap there, and he would he just like doesn't continue betting on that card. He just doesn't. I don't know if I'm supposed to call or not. That's the wrong table. Oh my god, how long has it been on the wrong table? I don't know. We're back though. I don't know. I don't know if I can fold that river. Like I checked back the flop. The bottom card pair is literally the best card in the deck. Other than, like, maybe an ace or something. Uh, shove with 4-7 and ace-jack. 
Because, like, I'm a Luxac is a very good player. I've watched some of his videos before. Uh, and I know he thinks about the game somewhat. And I'm pretty certain he's going to be aware of the stream and sort of aware, at least somewhat, of what I think about the spots. Uh, in which case, like, maybe I should just fold that river, even though we lose to almost nothing. That message, I didn't see the message, I didn't, uh, didn't see it in the chat, but, yeah. Mr. Patara opens, we're defending King Deuce, and we see a 9-6-3 flop. We'll check if they see bet, I expect it to be pretty strong if they check, we'll stab the turn most of the time. And they bet. <coughs> Ugh. Munch and sitting out, by the way, that's weird. Yeah, that's weird. Open under the gun, we'll just fold 5 3. Jamie, don't get a lot of time to drop by with the com uh, commitments, but been around since the early days and good luck. Ronan 9191, I remember your name, man, because I have a friend named Ronan. So Ronan, I, I see it all the time. Uh, thanks for hanging out, man. I do remember you. By the way, while you guys are here, we have a retweet contest going on Twitter for five 1% pieces of my Sunday 10 million. If I win the tournament, it'll be 10K a piece. So uh, definitely get in there. Exclamation mark Twitter is the way to get in. Uh, we're auctioning off some action on Poker Market as well. We're giving away 1% in all of my home games this week, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So you should check it out. I've seen open off 15 big blinds. I'm going to reach out the ace jack against Mr. Gall here, who seems to be a regular, 22-18. Called on the big blind. That's a disaster. We're doing poorly. We need a jack. We don't hit a jack. We're down to 10,900. Uh, I have marked the players while we were sweating that all in. And then this is a regular, too. So this is a pretty tough table. Uh, it's a quick demise. <laughs> Uh, we have six big blinds though. Six big blinds, we can run this back up. We just did. We just did run this back up. Guaranteed 583 right now, by the way. Open from Ebo Town. We're just going to fold. There we go. Now it clicks. And double. Double against Durden with Jack-10. Calling you a tier 3 reg. Is Kevin in here or what's going on? Let's see. Uh, but yeah, my blue tag is very good reg. Um, red is sort of uh, just normal tag and then, or like reg. And then orange is, is tier 2. But I don't know, um, you know, like some of these reds could be higher than that. It's just like everyone pretty much starts at red. We're just going to fold here. Rip scene. Yo, what's up, guys? Uh, we're back. I see Invisible Enigma, who is, I'm a Luxac. Apparently, he said, I opened your stream up after the hand. If you fold that river, you're getting crushed in the long run, I think. I definitely agree, man. Thanks for tuning in, by the way. I appreciate it. I really respect your game. Uh, you are a great player. I've watched a lot of your content before. Uh, yeah, for sure. I mean, like, if we're talking about, um, if I'm getting exploited by folding that river, like, definitely. Then you should just auto bet bet every time if I fold Ace Jack there. Um, if I'm, like, trying to balance. If I'm not trying to balance, can I fold? I don't know. Like, I don't know what your betting range is like on that river. I guess you're a good enough player to have some bluffs there as well. I, yeah, I don't know. I, I think it's a fine play, you know? But, like, exploited t can I be exploitative against you? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I should be or not. I don't know the answer to that. But, uh, you know, standard cooler. We'll move on to the next one. Keep it going. Thank you guys for hanging out. Uh, thank you to the 3,500 people watching. That is pretty hype. I'm loving it. Uh, we are 21 to 24 here in the Big 162. We have 8.2 big blinds. Guaranteed $583. First place is 11,300, which is a chunk of money. So let's try and run up a stack, okay? 
Let's run up a stack. Thank you guys for hanging out. If you're just tuning into the stream, a couple things going on this week. First, there's a million dollar free roll tomorrow on PokerStars. Check it out for sure. Uh, PokerStars promotions, you can find it on the website. There's a link to PokerStars down below. There's also a $215 buy-in with 10 million guaranteed in the prize pool. You definitely want to check that out. Uh, that is going to be the best value tournament of the year. Uh, you need a pulse, and then you're going to be plus EV in the tournament. That's about it. Uh, so you should play that. And then we're doing a bunch of giveaways. One on Twitter. Whoa, we have an all-in ace-queen against queen nine. I'm a Luxac. Going to take it down. Nice hand, man. We have a giveaway on Twitter, a retweet contest, where I'm giving away 5% of that tournament I was just talking about. Um, we are also auctioning off some action on Poker Market. We're doing a guess them competition on the Poker Market forums. So there's so much happening this week. You guys should definitely check it out. Exclamation mark action and exclamation mark PS are the links you need. Okay. Munch and shoves, we obviously call. We still call this overshove, by the way, because we're doing well against this. And we're ahead of this. 10K side pot. We get the whole pot. That's good. 40K. All right. We're back to um, 13 of 20, for sure. I think this is just uh, lagged out. There we go. 13 of 20. In the big 162. Guaranteed 583, but we're in a good spot now. And Ibo Town opens. <laughs> we just went on that long rant about what we should reshove. <laughs> uh, why didn't I hold it back? I don't know. I'm gonna fold. When you three bit jam for the blinds, where do you draw the line in terms of the hand? Deuce three suited is a shove. In my opinion, deuce three suited is really thin versus normal button range, sitting edge of the field. Um, I mean, I don't know where to draw the line. You know, it's 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 too fuzzy of a concept for me, and that the standards that professional players have set are so far away from what should be correct. So I don't know how to draw the line yet, you know? It's really easy with like opening ranges and stuff, but when it comes to reshoving ranges, like a 40% and a 70% open range drastically changes everything. Um, and their calling range drastically changes everything and it's just not solid enough for me to be able to draw the line. Jay Lawrence. <clears throat> Excuse me. Excuse me. All right. 16 or 20. Ship it, Muppet, with the five-month resub. Thank you, man. Appreciate that. Welcome to Staples Table. Hearts out in chat for Ship it, Muppet. Thanks, dude. Welcome to the team. Welcome back. Excuse me. You've been on the team for a while. So guaranteed 583. In three spots, we jump up to 726, which would be sweet. <laughs> Please give song link. It is Hell Deep Radio episode 26. Matt Sachs, what up, dude? <laughs> Welcome to Sable Sable Hearts out in chat for the new sub, you guys. Thank you, Matt Sachs. Welcome to the team, man. East 9 Studio here. We're going to raise. We are going to raise. Get up. Fold, fold to Durden. He's going to be defending a lot. We do see a defend. We see Kington flop. Or are we just bet calling? I think we should definitely start with a bet. I mean, it can set up a turn uh, pressure bet if we want to. Should we bet big, though? I'm going to bet kind of big here. Basically, whoops. <laughs> Basically, just to put pressure on Durden. Um, I don't know if he knows how this is going to adjust our range. It is sort of a draw-heavy flop. But we're setting up for a turn shove, which is good. Um, and also, we might get a higher frequency of folds just by choosing this bigger size with the flush draw, which we don't mind, right? If we get them to fold a pair, it's it's a huge victory. So, size it slightly bigger. We do see a fold. And we're going to fold the E6 off in the hijack. Pretty good lineup behind us, right? Uh, like, this is probably a regular. So we could get away with opening a 6 at weaker tables, but they're not going to let us get away with it here. Thank you, Aluna, sir. Thanks.
I love your music. I just play, my brother links me some music sometimes. This is Hell Deep Radio is generally what we play. It's like a mixed um, podcast on YouTube from Oliver Heldon. So definitely go check him out. Good for the 6-3 suited. Uh, cheers. Invisible Enigma, thanks, man. Thank you, thank you, and good luck in this tournament, dude. Free for everyone, the million? The million dollar free roll is free for everyone, yep. It is a free roll. Poker Stars just giving away a million dollars. I want art! Me too! What place do we need to get art? I guess we can move this over here. So we need top three. Top three spots to buy some art tonight. I want some more art as well. So you open in a snapshot of Ace Queen against Queens. And queens are going to take it down. Mr. Batar ripping pepperonis. Um, one away from the final two tables. That's not a pay jump anymore, but one away from the final two tables. Makes the pay jump at 17 now. Welcome to the home game, Jer. I'm going to shut down the home game thing because we're not going to need uh, this open until tomorrow. But we do have three home games tomorrow. We have an 11 cent buy-in where I'm adding a Sunday million ticket. So the winner of that tournament gets a Sunday million ticket, so only 11 cents to enter. Uh, so pretty cool tournament, I think. Uh, two seventy buy-in and a twenty-seven dollar buy-in. The high roller of the week is all happening tomorrow. Uh, why to sell action on the Sunday million when it's ten million guaranteed when it's two fifty buy-in? I'm just auctioning off ten percent, so probably the markup's going to get very high because it's only ten bidders get an option at it. American and Second Poker Market is a sponsor of my stream, um, so I like to give them like, some exposure, right? And when I'm auctioning off a, a big special tournament like the Sunday ten million. Um, it drives a lot of people to their site, you know? But I expect the markup to get very high, you know, like um, people are paying like triple the price of, of one buy-in or something just because it's such a special event. So it might even be a good idea for me to sell. Like I might make more money off markup than I do in the actual tournament. It depends what the price is going to be. We'll see. Good luck, Jamie. Good to see you again. Deep in tournaments last week, you had a couple of run bad weeks. I did, but we've had a lot of run good weeks since then. Um, folds wasn't small. All right, we're going to start with a limp. We got fourth place in the Big 82 for 2.8. We got third place in the Big 109 for 6.7 in the last seven days or so. So things are pretty good. It's been a good week. We get a race to 6,200. This hand definitely flops well enough to limp call. With our 10 7 suited and check fold on this ace queen 5 board. to us, I am going to open the 7-9 suited. We could shove as well for what it's worth, but I think opening is fine. You calling a jam there? I am, Jay McCormick. Yep, with the flush draw and the overcard, we're not folding. Action on Yunez. Anyways, you shove, we'll fold. Thank you guys for watching part one. I appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe. Let your friends know. Does anyone like like this sort of content? I don't know. Just uh, sell out for me for a bit and, and, and you know, tell Billy, hey Billy, uh, we, got a, we got a poker show over here. Come check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching. We're going to be back with part two tomorrow. See you then.